hey guys it's BB here again with this makeup tutorial so yeah guys if you want to see this look make sure you stay tuned um you can go ahead and hit that like button and before you hit that like button though make sure you hit that red box subscribe I believe it is here or here whichever place it is make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you can get a notification every time I upload a video all right let's get on to this video we are going to be using our Juvia's Place Festival palette I think I'm going to be using this shade, this shade, and this shade. Maybe a little bit of that. So first, we are going to work with a matte right here in the crease. You can definitely put shimmers in your crease. They just don't blend as nicely inside the crease. And they can make your look, look a little bit messy. You can barely see this shade showing up, but... Just gonna continue to work that in the crease. We're actually gonna use the Zulu palette as well. Gonna take this orange here. These Juvia Place palettes are so pigmented. If you like doing some color, you should definitely check those out. You see me just blending and working this right into my crease. You can use windshield wipe promotion or you know, kind of swirl it like that just to lay that pigment down. I kind of pack it in the corner here and then work the rest over. That gives you a nice blend from outer to inner. So we're just going to keep packing and working it in. Just going to go back across the top with that yellowish shade. We're just blending that into the orange like if i feel like i'm losing a little bit too much orange I'm gonna go right back in with the orange don't you guys just get so jealous of the girls who have like all of this a limited amount of lid space and it's like how sway how how going right under that with ophala it's another more vibrant orange but it's going to deepen it up just a bit. And you see me just working it into that crease there. You can map out your cut crease like so. Snap it out there. And right above your crease, this is kind of as high as I want it to go. You don't want to add too much product on your brush. So you won't lose control of what you're doing. And you can work with one eye at a time. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. Gonna take this gold shade. Yes. This is my Morphe M408, one of my flat shader brushes. Take that orange and go back above the top of the gold. Because I want that pigment on top of the gold to pop. Going to take some of this NYX Crystal Body Liner and just outline that cut crease. And we are going to work that right in the lower lash line.
take a big breath, fluffy breath, and try to wipe away the littlest bit of fallout that I saw. Now for lashes. And now I go back over my lash line to kind of cover up that band. Anastasia Beverly Hills and Ombre Z highlight collab. When I first saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, this is not for my skin. But it's really, really nice. And you don't see that ashy cast that happens to us melanin infused women. I just take my finger here, add a little bit to the bridge of the nose. This is a new liquid lipsticks from Juvia's Place. This is in the shade Soil. Not precise enough for me. I think I actually like the black lip with this look. Now let's see what my favorite nude. My favorite nude of the year is the Urban Decay. This came out with the Heat Palette. This is Fuel. It's a uh, peachy. How rude. Ulta. It is a peachy nude. I must say, I like the black the best. So yeah guys, this is the final look. I definitely love the black better. So thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you love this look. Comment down below any other looks you want me to do. I will see you guys in the next one.